Give me the goddamn page! Okay. In Transformers, in the scene where Scorponok bursts out of the sand right on the heels of the soldiers, the effect was achieved by detonating a primer cord under the sand. The explosions would be in close proximity and very dangerous to the actors in the scene. So before the scene was shot, director Michael Bay told the actors to run and keep running no matter what happens, or else they could seriously be injured or even worse, killed. As a result, the look of panic on the actors' faces is 100% genuine. During the filming of the infamous scene in The Omen, where Catherine and Damien go to the zoo and the monkeys attack the car, Lee Remick's reaction was genuine, as the filmmakers had taken a baby monkey and placed it in the car, which caused them to attack the vehicle. <laughs> Noah's Ark was a semi-silent film directed by Michael Curtis. In a move that would land Curtis in prison for murder today, he decided to turn reality up a notch for the infamous flood scenes. Hundreds of thousands of gallons of water were relentlessly poured onto hordes of extras who were clambering to get onto the set's arc. In the end, three extras lost their lives on camera and numerous others sustained serious injuries. In Poltergeist, the scene where Jo Beth Williams' character has to crawl through a sea of corpses to get to her daughter used real skeletons because Steven Spielberg thought that plastic props weren't realistic enough. Surprisingly, Williams was not made aware that there were real skeletons used in the scene until she finished shooting it. The reason that real skeletons were used in the movie is because it was actually cheaper and more cost-effective than creating and using plastic fake ones. According to the director's commentary on the Sleepy Hollow DVD, the scene in the church where the doctor is killed by a blow to the head, they accidentally hit Ian McDiarmid so hard that he ended up having to go to the hospital. In Scream, during the scene where Sydney dresses up in the Ghostface costume and stabs Billy with an umbrella, the stunt woman in the costume can't see very well and ends up stabbing Billy in the chest right where he had a wire from heart surgery. The screams of pain from him were real. While filming the scene in American Pie presents Bandcamp, where Matt Stifler strips naked during a trivia game, actor Tad Hilgenbrink actually did just that on set. As he had not informed the actresses that he would be naked, they assumed his genitals would be covered in some way. Therefore, their surprised reactions were genuine. In his memoir, Lucky Man, Michael J. Fox recounts that while filming the scene where Marty is lynched in Back to the Future Part 3, he actually didn't get his hand in the right place on one take and actually blacked out due to suffocation. Leonardo DiCaprio accidentally cut his hand open while filming a scene in Django Unchained but decided to keep acting anyway, even smearing his real blood all over Kerry Washington's face. This nigga here is too steep. When the scene was over, the cast and crew gave him a standing ovation. For the chestburster scene in Alien, the effects used to achieve the scene were deliberately kept secret from the actors whose reactions of surprise and shock were completely genuine. In the last part of The Graduate, director Mike Nichols didn't tell the actors Dustin Hoffman and Katherine Ross when he'd stopped filming. The script didn't mention any specific facial expressions, so he let the camera roll to capture their natural emotions fading away. In There's Something About Mary. When Ben Stiller is being loaded into the ambulance, the paramedics drop the stretcher as they load it into the back of an ambulance. This was actually a genuine mistake. Are you okay, Ted? Ted! You are In This Is The End, Michael Sierra asks Rihanna if he could grope her behind, which she allows if she gets to slap him in return. She hit him in the face so hard he had to lie down from the dizziness. That's not cool. Don't touch that's my phone. Michael, that's Please not cool, shut man. The fuck up, Jason. We're playing a game, man. In one scene in True Lies, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character Harry Tasker was scripted to smash a car window in frustration while arguing with Gibb, 
played by Tom Arnold. The SUV window had been replaced with stage glass, as you might expect, but Schwarzenegger hit the wrong window by mistake. Give me the goddamn page! Therefore, Tom Arnold's reaction is 100% genuine. Okay. When Aragorn kicks a helmet out of frustration in The Lord of the Rings, he lets out an unscripted roar that was actually the result of actor Viggo Mortensen breaking his toe. During a pivotal scene between Marlon Brando and Eva Marie Saint, Saint accidentally dropped one of her gloves. Without skipping a beat, Brando picked up the glove and started toying with it while doing the scene. Ilya Kazan has stated that the best directing he ever did was not yelling cut the moment she dropped the glove. Are you training to be a nun? It's just a regular college. What is it? Did you know the extras in Take Shelter were only told they would get a free lunch and be in a movie? So their stunned and horrified reaction to Michael Shannon's fight with Shea Wiggum and subsequent freak out was dead real. I said yes! Child actor Jackie Cooper was goaded into crying for a scene in Skippy by a director who threatened to shoot his dog. Son. Go away. Go away from me. What's the matter? Cooper was so traumatized by the memory of that event that when he later wrote his autobiography, he named it, Please Don't Shoot My Dog. He's an awful good kid. You just gotta do something, God. You gotta. In the Rocky Horror Picture Show, all of the actors, except Tim Curry, were kept in the dark about Eddie's corpse under the tablecloth. Therefore, their shocked reactions were genuine. <laughs> the mimetic delivery of the line, This is Sparta, was actually not that highly emphasized in the comic book novel, nor the original script. According to Gerard Butler, after they'd finished filming the scene as scripted, he asked them to do one more take, and then delivered the line in the now famous manner. This is Sparta! When Sabretooth throws Wolverine off the Statue of Liberty in X-Men, the next scene is Wolverine slamming his claws into the torch's side to stop falling. In an interview, Jackman says the harness slipped and pinched him in a very uncomfortable place. As a result, his screams of rage are actually genuine screams of pain. The Goonies director Richard Donner wanted the child actors in the film to be in complete awe when they first set eyes on One-Eyed Willie. The crew built an actual pirate ship on a soundstage, but the kids were denied access to the set. The ship was called the Inferno and was 105 feet long, taking two and a half months to complete. The cast finally saw the ship for the first time during actual filming, meaning their jaw-dropping reactions are 100% genuine. The only issue was that some of the kids were so amazed by the spectacle that they dropped a few curse words. The scene needed to be reshot a second time without the profanity. 